Pulling out the firewood from under the cauldron is the lowest cost path to immortal cultivation. Xiefeng, recently, I received an insight. The cold storage door at the headquarter of Life Echanuan in Canada was difficult to open and close. It seemed that the ground was rising. With every rise, it blocked the door's movement. So, I filed the bricks on the ground multiple times. Each filing made the door slightly easier to open, although it still remained stiff. I even decided to call in professionals from a refrigeration company to address the issue. Not long ago, my son came to my place. I explained the problem with the cold storage door to him and asked if he could solve it. After carefully observing the situation, he proceeded to inspect the basement. He proposed two solutions. One was to remove all the floor tiles under the cold storage door and lower the height of the wooden boards underneath, while the other was to address the humidity problem in the basement. He found that the reason the floor tiles under the cold storage door had risen was due to excessive basement humidity. This humidity caused the wood beneath the tiles to swell. When I asked which solution could permanently solve the problem, he said it would be best to address the root cause by thoroughly resolving the high humidity in the basement. Otherwise, the problem would persist in the long term. It's worth noting here that the Life Echanuan headquarter in Canada is constructed entirely of wood. Now that the root of the problem was identified and removing the firewood from under the cauldron was the best solution to permanently resolve the issue, I decided to eliminate the high humidity in the basement. So, I sent my son to town to buy a dehumidifier. After the dehumidifier ran for 24 hours, the cold storage door became much easier to operate. Three days later, the cold storage door was opening and closing smoothly. The phenomenon with the cold storage door led to an insight. Pulling out the firewood from under the cauldron is the lowest cost path to solving problems. For example, in various marital difficulties, these problems have persisted for thousands of years without resolution, despite attempts to address them through moral, ethical, social, or emotional teachings and constraints. In such cases, the most cost-effective way to eliminate marital problems is simply not to get married. As the saying goes, it is easy to have good relationships with everyone if we do not ask any favor from them. I would not care about the price of wine if I did not drink it. I don't drink, therefore, whether a bottle of Maudai sells for 300 or 30,000, I couldn't care less. Similarly, if someone feels that being a civil servant is restrictive and leads to poor relationships, the best way to address this annoyance is not to become a civil servant but to start a business. Likewise, if someone feels that the United States is not good or safe, the solution is simple. Leave the United States. If a company is plagued with numerous problems and the common people are struggling, the best way to address this issue is not to establish various regulations and legal provisions, nor is it to rely on moral teachings and various expert opinions to deceive people, and certainly not to increase punishment and fire more people. Instead, it is to directly replace the leader. History has proven that the leader is the core guarantee of the people's happiness and social stability. If this core is not functioning, replacing it will lead to a complete transformation at the lowest cost. So, what is the lowest cost path to becoming celestial beings? The answer is eliminating selfishness and ego. Without removing selfish desires and ego attachment, the path to becoming celestial beings becomes unreachable. 